George. Yeah, I just felt another tremor downtown. I'll be back in an hour, but I need you to check the seismic charts and find the fault line. Listen, George, something felt very unnatural about this one, okay? No, I know, I know. Just print the charts out. President Trump called the sonic weapon attacks on American diplomats in Cuba highly unusual and felt that Cuba was responsible. This dovetails with a story out of China where U.S. government employees were victimized by, in their words, something we've never seen before. Uh, Paul Dalsett? Secretive Chinese military expansion. And, uh, she said, uh, Dad, I'm not coming down this weekend. I, I get it. She's got kids. And you know, she, she don't she don't live close. It's, it's not Santa Monica. It's a, it's a it's a blessing in disguise. I don't want her seeing me in here. I don't want anybody seeing me in here. I mean, just you know, you. That's you know what I mean. He's just. You and me. You, you got company. I see you made a new friend. Hey, I, uh, I brought you something. Paul. Stop signing, I can read your lips. And I don't need any help. Everyone needs help sometimes. Esther, he'll never say it, but he appreciates you coming. I doubt that. To him, his being here is all my fault. I got to go to college and he got to go to Syria. Honey, I've seen soldiers trapped by the voices in their mind forever, while others just snap out of it. If he's gonna win the battle, he's gotta know someone believes in him. I've tried. I can't save him from himself. You can't. Love can. Mean the world to him if you just invite him over for a few days. Give him a break from all this. Tembler rocked downtown Los Angeles today. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Government officials vowed there will not be a delay in the G20 downtown despite these recent LA tremors. In other news, the weather has been changing quite rapidly, as you've noticed, and we're going to talk more about that. Hey, CD, CV off. George, give me the graphs. Come on. What's so very important? Hmm? Something is wrong here. Okay, do you see this curve? It's supposed to shape this way, but it's inverted. Look, it's right above the dormant fault line that we found after the quake in 94. Goes straight through downtown. 
Bring me the map. What's the big deal? We get 400 tremors each year. No, 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 no. This is a vertical fault line, not a horizontal one. All of downtown, the high rises were built on rollers to withstand horizontal shakes. A vertical quake this size could collapse half of downtown. I have to tell the professor. Aren't you supposed to be in class right now? Yeah. You better hurry. Now, through his work on frequency, Nikola Tesla used AC power to illuminate the 1893 Chicago World's Fair with spectacular results. Must have seemed truly miraculous at the time. Now, some of you have light bulbs in front of you. Could you hold them in your hand for the moment, just like that? Imagine, if you will, this coil is the Earth. Now, Tesla, by bouncing certain frequencies off the ionosphere and using the Earth as a giant battery, Tesla said that he could provide unlimited free and wireless power to any place on the planet. Ooh. Impressive, huh? Now, unfortunately, the financier J.P. Morgan, that's Tesla's primary investor, wanted to monetize this revolutionary source of power, not just hand it out for free like Tesla did. So, Morgan withdrew his funding and shut down the project. A century later, that same power is used today in our cell phones. Hey. But perhaps the most significant unfinished work of Tesla's was in the area that we know today as High Frequency Active Auroral Research, or HARP. See, Tesla believed that everything all of nature, all things, all that we see, everything that we know, that's the weather, that's earthquakes, that's even the human mind, all of it is governed by frequency. Tiny vibrations that animate or destroy. Case in point. When the wind in Washington state reach the resonance frequency of the mighty Tacoma Narrows Bridge, it snapped like a toothpick. See, Tessa believed that if you control the resonance frequency of an object, you control that object. Whether it be a bridge, weather, earthquake, even a human thought. Fun fact, if a little sinister, when Tesla died, the government invaded his offices and seized all his research, in the name of national security. But Tesla was canny, and he committed all his most critical notes and research to a particular notebook that he hid away. Imagine, just imagine, if you will, what you could do. You got hold of those notes, hmm? Professor, didn't he also say we should Prevent the breeding of the unfit by sterilization? Someone's been doing their reading. Very good. Yes, Tesla was interested in birth control. But unlike some of his contemporary eugenicists, he was more interested in the betterment of mankind, not just in creating some kind of master race. Think of it, if you will, as a um, sort of benign evolution. Ah, Miss Dulcet, would you care to Edify, Miss Smith? I think uh, Tesla knew from natural selection that only the strong will survive. But aren't all men created equal? Ah, well, let me take that in Tesla's own words. To quote Tesla, he said, science is but a perversion of itself unless it has as its ultimate goal the betterment of mankind. Isn't that right, Mr. Harris? Mr. Harris! You see, I controlled the resonant frequency of Mr. Harris, and so I control Mr. Mr. Harris. Is it true as a student you put big speakers in your dorm's basement to find the resonance frequency and you almost brought it down? Ah, uh, at this time I can neither deny nor confirm that report. All right, midterms, Friday. Those who fail to evolve fail to pass. Thank you very much. There you go. Get that down, you. 
Quentin's chamomile tea. Just the remedy for a long day of interminable lectures. Hmm? Mm. <clears throat> you know, um, <clears throat> I couldn't help but notice that you were a little late this morning and your answering class was a little less than convincing. Why don't you just use your wristwatch? It works. <laughs> what is it with you and that old thing? This old thing? <laughs> This, my dear, is a special edition. Do you know that Tesla used to sell these things from time to time to put food on his table? And this one has a, you see, it has a scratch on the tea. It makes it, makes it very special. But you are avoiding the subject. You went to see your brother again this morning, didn't you? That's not what I'm here to talk about. Be that as it may, if you want to achieve success in science, you have to put distractions aside and focus. You know, Esther, I don't have a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be just like you, with your special talents. Wind is inspiration, Esther, and windmills are in short supply. He's my brother, and he's hurting. I can't just ignore him. I know, and you've done a lot for him already, but science needs your special gift, so science can help society and help your brother along the way. <clears throat> I, um... I brought you these to show you. When was this? Today, downtown. Right near this fault line. Well, this is a... This is a counterweight. This is, this is serious. Have you ever seen a pattern like this before? Oh, excuse me. Is everything okay? Uh... Yeah, I just, um... I have to, uh... Take care of something. It's just, uh... Something just came up. Would you, would you mind covering my classes for me? I'm gonna need to take these. Oh, actually, you know what? I wanted to keep this chart for my research. Are you finished with my notes on my thesis? Yes, they're at my house. I'll, um, I'll leave them in my mailbox. Okay. Professor? Professor, it's me, Esther. Professor?
911, what's your emergency? I'm, I'm a grad student at Cal U. I think my professor's missing. He wasn't at his house and, and it was a total mess. Do you have any proof he's missing? Well, no, but... Ma'am, we can't file a report for 48 hours. If he doesn't show up after that, give us a call. Wait, is that the best you can do? I can connect you with the local police. No, no. <laughs> Thank you. What are you doing in here? I work with the professor. That's not what I asked. I asked you what you were doing. Looking for the professor, obviously. What happened here? Well, you didn't touch anything, did you? I'm not stupid. OK, Einstein. I'm just making sure. Cops should be here in a few. Police aren't coming. Colin Ward, FBI. Esther Dalset. Why is the FBI involved in a campus break-in? And why aren't the police coming? Because this is my case. The professor did a lot of work for us. We don't need a G-man to tell us that some students started to steal test answers. Wait, do you know where Professor Conrad is? Told me earlier he was leaving town, seemed to be in a hurry. What is this all about? Let's just say there are a lot of enemies of the state interested in his research. Uh, is there any security footage of this office? Yeah, if it gets you to leave campus, yeah. I'll show you. You too. Yeah! Your death is sweet to me, Shao Kahn. G-Man, Einstein. Meet Rocky, our IT specialist. They're not players. No, this is reality. Can you pull footage from the break-in? Nothing's there. Are you sure you want to see it again? Humor me. We have guests. Humor. OK. Analog. Double mocha latticino. No foam. Thanks. <laughs> nice hat. Oh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. What is this, a joke? It's all static. I got all I need. What a moron. What's the deal? <sighs> Professor Conrad is missing. I'm really worried. Is that really the only copy? Of course not. You want me to use my superpowers? I... Can you pull an image from that? Duh. It takes, like, one to two days. OK, yes, use your superpowers. Miss Dalsett, I apologize for the intrusion. Dr. Conrad has spoken so highly of you. And you are? Oh, forgive my manners. I'm Dr. Cyrus Stanton, FIT. Stuart was helping me on some very sensitive research. Uh, the professor had mentioned FIT before, but he never told me what it was. Future invested technologies. We're what one might consider a, a, an advanced think tank. We at FIT are uh, committed not only to thinking about the problems, but to solving them. That sounds like Dr. Conrad, always trying to better humanity. Hmm. Unfortunately, not everyone shares our value set. There are many governments with most likely nefarious intentions out there who would love to get their hands on our research. Dr. Conrad was about to submit his final frequency data research on earthquakes. Now we can't reach him. Do you think he was taken? It's quite possible. One of our colleagues, uh, a Douglas Cole, had mysteriously died yesterday. I'm sorry. I, I wish that there was something more that I could do. Dr. Conrad had acquired a little leather-bound notebook from an antiquities dealer that was critical to our research. Perhaps you may have come across it. 
No. Well, if you do come across this notebook or hear from Dr. Conrad, please contact me as soon as possible. It's connected to the recent tremors. Yes, I believe it is connected. So please, find Dr. Conrad and his data before it's too late. I'll see what I can do. Excellent. Gentlemen, thank you. pretty desperate if you're coming to me. You're the only one I can trust. You need to steer clear of these people. They don't mess around. My professor is missing. Thousands could die. You want me to just steer clear? You gonna stop the master? You end up getting yourself killed. What's your plan? Just hide out here, give up? That's your solution? Works for me. Maybe if you got your ears blown out. You'd be a little more cautious, too. And you should be. You're being followed. What? I am not being followed. How would you not? I just know. I have to do this. I'll do it with or without you. You should have seen him. She came in. He stopped, stopped listening, stopped. You, you want some of this? No, I'm good. Oh. Kill him. Kill him. Jeremiah. Are you all right? Kill him. Ooh, OK. Enough of that. Kill him. No. Oh, hold up. Back up. Back off. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get Help! Help! We got a man down over here! Find it, take it, and keep it hidden at all costs. 
20 leaders meeting downtown, they're in danger. In fact, the, the whole of downtown could be in danger. Let me take down these numbers and, and keep an eye out for things that look like strange sonic listening devices. They're not, they're weapons. They were used against those diplomats in Cuba. And, and don't trust anyone. You're gonna get me fired. I, I was just grabbing a book. From behind the bookcase? You should see where you hid the midterm answers. I don't wanna know. What's it for? I just need it to teach class tomorrow. George is teaching tomorrow. <laughs> You're quite the detective. Well, I was once. Till I blew the whistle on some higher ups at the LAPD. Wait, you're not kidding? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude earlier. I was just, I... Wait, why are you doing campus security then? Like it's beneath me? I get free tuition for my law school classes. Oh. I guess you can't judge a book by its cover, huh? So, are you gonna arrest me? <laughs> Is that book gonna help you find the professor? Go on, get out of here. The truth is, after this whole break-in, they're probably gonna fire me anyway. Just return it. Seriously, what is going on? I'm not sure. Well, look, I, if you want me to help you find the professor, you gotta let me in. Honestly, Frank, I am in way over my head right now. Everything is happening so fast, I... I just need time to process. I'm ready when you are. Wait, um... Do you mind walking me in my car? Sure. Thank you.
deaf or something? What are you doing here? Come here. Let me see your eyes. What's the last thing you remember? Uh, I... I don't know. I can't remember anything. There was a guy outside your window in a car pointing some kind of weird gun at you. He's gone. The car's gone. I told you not to mess with these people. Who are they? I don't know, Russian, Chinese, NSA, it doesn't matter, they're gone now. <sighs> Stupid notebook. Where is it? How did, how did you know they were out there? Look, I've been coming by. I have to find the professor. Hey, look, we're gonna get you out of this, okay? Would you sleep on the couch tonight? I have to do this. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. No phone, right? Of course. Are we not civilized? Mm. <laughs> ah. Ah. What do you got? Double milk, a latte, chino. Mm -hmm. No phone. I meant the security footage. Ah, uh, well. This is all we got before it turns to snow. Can you zoom in on the forearm? That is not possible. <laughs> Piece of cake. Freeze that. Ooh, the force is strong in this one. Hashtag mojo.
In my 20s, I taught science at an orphanage in Haiti. Spring of 94, best time of my life. Six months later, every child in these photos was killed by Hurricane Gordon. It was at that moment that I decided to dedicate my life to the science of predicting and controlling nature. Professor Conrad felt the same way. Still no word about him? Sadly, no, but uh, we are continuing with the search. Please. So you think he was taken then? One would assume. He would have contacted us by now. Uh, by any chance, have you found that notebook? Uh, that's what they'd be after, not him. No. Why is it so important? Well, Tesla was a genius, a uh, hundred years ahead of his time. But later in his life, he became very secretive and uh, never published his most amazing discoveries. Those discoveries were thought to be written in a lost journal. Now, in the right hands, it could revolutionize the 21st century. But in the wrong hands... I'd like to show you something. We've been uh, working on uh, ways to create out of phase reverse seismic waves. Do you know how they put out a forest fire? They start another one. It's called a backfire. And when those two fires converge... They cancel each other out. Precisely. There was a seven-point earthquake in Chile. It devastated an entire village. With what we know now, we probably could have reduced a lot of that damage. If you had Tesla's notes... We might have saved the entire region. Do you know that this one has a scratch on the teeth? Did Stuart ever show you a reverse wave like that before? No. <clears throat> no, this, this is quite something. Um, but if you can stop an earthquake, doesn't that mean you could start one too? That's why that notebook should never fall into the wrong hands. Well, I will continue looking. <laughs> If I find anything, I'll let you know. Well, perhaps we can assist you in your search. Oh, I work a lot faster on my own. As you like. I'll have one of my men show you out. Time is of the essence. What you expected. Agent Ward, no. Um, sorry, come in. <clears throat> what, a student stealing test answers again? <sighs> I wish. Looks like I might have upset the wrong people and I could be in some trouble. Maybe you could help me. Can we get some coffee first? Oh, yeah, of course. Sorry again about the mess. No, just relax. I'll get it. Mm. This is so good. This is my coffee. Actually, I carry packets with me. Let me tell you, there's nothing worse than being on an all-night stakeout with bad coffee. Mm. I wish I had this while I was writing my thesis. Well, getting back to it. So, you think this fit group has... Dr. Conrad, because you saw his watch there. And they might be planning to set off an earthquake under LA during the G20. And they need the professor's research to do it. And if they can't find it, well, 
And your brother might be missing, but maybe he just left the room like this after a PTSD attack, and maybe he's just back on the streets. Okay. I know how it sounds. Do you think I should call the police? With a story like this? Well, do you believe me, at least? Can I call you Esther? I think we got off on the wrong foot the other day. I looked you up. You're a very bright lady. So no, Esther, I don't think you made this up. And yes, I can help you. The FBI is determined to prevent the professor's research from falling into the wrong hands. So, what do I do? Well, if you can find this notebook or Stuart's research, we could use it to set up a sting on this fit group and find the professor. But what you've just told me isn't enough to get a warrant. If you do find anything, give us a call. We'll get your professor back. It's what we do. Of course. Well, thank you. Oh. I thought you wanted my help. But I didn't call him. He just showed up. Right. If I always gets their man. Or woman. Campus cops just gets to wait in line. Where did that come from? I don't know. Maybe I was under the impression that... Forget it. Well, he wasn't much help anyway. But you still didn't answer my question. Yes, I want your help. Just wanted to hear it. Looks like quite the mess. You didn't call me over just to help clean up, did you? No, someone broke in here and they took that notebook. Oh. It's gonna cost you a big library fine. This isn't funny. I have almost gotten killed. My brother and my professor are missing, and this group is trying to create this earthquake that could collapse all of downtown during the G20. Okay. What proof do you have? Well, I went to this group that the professor used to work for. It's called Fit, and they had his pocket watch there. He, he would never leave it behind. And? And they wanted the notebook that has all of the formulas that they could create the big earthquake, and I had it, and now it's gone, and now I have nothing to bargain with to get the professor back. Well, if this fit group didn't take it, then who did? I don't know. Are you gonna help me or not? You could always bluff. You say you need this notebook to trade to get the professor back? Call him. Tell him you have it. Then what? I don't know. But we'll figure something out. But first, we're going to need a team. Oh, yeah. Rocky, again with the wings. You said full battle gear. You want this domain protected or not? This is such a bad idea. Uh, what's with the outfit? She's a LARPer, a live action role player, weekend warrior. Teams, costumes, plastic swords, the whole nine yards. City parks become galactic battlegrounds. Save the universe. <laughs> Save, Save the universe! universe. <sighs> hey, she's the best hacker in school, you know? And my mojo is better than yours. And your mojo is better than mine. Well, all right, guys. Let's do this. Pull up the schematics on fit. <sighs> Dude, this used to be a private mental asylum for the wealthy. The basement is where they keep the silver spoon wackos. Well, the labs are in the basement, so I bet that's where the professor is. OK, we parked the van out front. Esther's going to tell them she found the notebook, and they'll let us in. Paul. You sneak onto the grounds and find an entrance through the back door. Rocky, 
You hack into the Wi-Fi and set off a fire alarm at precisely 8.05. Fire alarm, I got it in my sleep. Okay, when the alarm goes off, everyone will exit the building. The electronic door locks will automatically open and the professor gets out. Paul, you'll help him escape to our van in the street and Esther keeps Cyrus busy. Foolproof. I don't like it. Well, do you have a better idea? Suppose the guards take the professor. Then this is our backup plan. A video camera with a Wi-Fi geotagger. Put this on. It looks just like a brooch. If the professor is there, a picture of him will help get a warrant to search the building. Or, hopefully, you can get Cyrus incriminating himself. These contacts... These contacts will let you see the full electromagnetic spectrum, not just visible light. And what will that get me? Body temperature displays? Heat signatures? You can see through walls. Night vision? Of course. You can even see invisible sonic frequencies. Sonic gunfire. I want some. Patience, grasshopper. OK? In good time, you will all get them. Wait, what if the professor's cell doesn't unlock? Combo locks look like this? Uh-huh. Oh, no sweat. They're Smith lock. Old issue. This will confuse the lock chip. Opens it by default. This is military. Where'd you get it? eBay. Are we ready to rumble? Let's do this. Good to see you. We've been expecting you. <clears throat> Please, follow me. Is it safe down here? Oh, yes. They're just running a test in that lab, so we shouldn't stay too long. They're on an extreme deadline. If you please, may I have the notebook? Oh, um, actually, I didn't know if it was the real thing. So I took some photos of some of the pages. What do you think? Well, if those are in Tesla's initials, they're quite a good forgery. If you don't mind, I'm going to have to keep this. But, actually, I do mind. I was just going to text a few friends about dinner, you know, but... Miss Dawson, I think it's time we stop playing games. I believe this is what you're looking for. Professor, are you OK? <sighs> Expecting something. A uh, fire alarm, perhaps? Oh, yes, we've been tapping your phone. Let me make this simple. Tell me where the notebook is, or die. It's 8.05. Where's the fire? The Wi-Fi's dead. I can't do it. You're gonna have to move the van. We're picking up someone. No parking, no standing. Move. Now. Yes, sir, officer. You will not win this battle. What did they do to you? Some kind of sonic torture. Brain feels like it's been in a microwave. You used to work with these people? They weren't always like this. We were trying to save lives by stopping earthquakes. 
They're starting them. They're killing innocent people. I mean, collapsing downtown? That wasn't part of the original plan. We were gonna fix nature's flaws, just trying to help its evolution. Sounds to me like you're trying to play God. I was just trying to use my science to, to perfect nature. And the goal being what? To better humanity? I mean, it seems like you get to decide who lives and who dies. The weak, like my brother, what, he's just tossed aside? Fit is targeting the G20. Yeah, we know. Can we stop it? Maybe, but not from here. Placing leaders who don't share our beliefs with those who do. You'll never get away with this. It's an earthquake, a natural disaster. Don't pin it on the usual suspects. Mother Nature, the universe, God. Now, if you please, where is the rest of that notebook? Why? So you can create even bigger disasters? You don't seem to be grasping how this works. The notebook. <laughs> the notebook. Again. Stop, stop, stop! Where is the rest of that notebook? The professor knows better than anyone. We as a species are on the verge of extinction, and the remedy lies within that book. You see, we can no longer be subject to the whims of these inept politicians whose policies maintain the survival of the weakest. We need to establish a new world order where only the fittest may rule. No, no, we all have value. People are created equally. We weren't created. We're merely a product of time and chance. Either we take control of our own destiny, or we go the way of the dinosaurs. What about people that, that are deaf? Hmm? Or, or, or maybe not as smart? We just do away with them? I think Nietzsche had it right. If we are to build a superhuman, we must first eliminate those who are flawed. Cyrus, please, this isn't what we set out to do. Shh, but it's what we must do. Now, please, let's make it easy on all of us. Where's the rest of that book? Have it your way. Give her a blast every five minutes until she changes her mind. Save you. 
I'll give them the wrath of Khan. In English? Hacked into water and power and shut down the block's power grid. Do it. I'm gonna make sure you enjoy this. See, for every action, there's a reaction. Are you okay? Let's go. Do not let them leave the compound. Yes, sir. Josh, Let's I'm go. So glad to see you. Let's go, baby. It's an earthquake, a natural disaster. Though pinned on the usual suspects Mother Nature, the universe, God. Wait, no, stop! If you please. I've seen enough. You did the right thing in coming to me. So now you get a warrant. I already have a team on the way. Talk to me. Gone, what do you mean everything's gone? Gone? That's impossible. Yeah. They must have had a contingency for something like this. So what now? Well, we tighten security in the G20 and we start to track them down. No, I heard that they can remotely access the Harper Rays, which means they could set off this quake from anywhere in the city. Well, then you and the doctor better come up with some whiz-bang way to stop this thing. You still haven't found that elusive notebook yet, have you? Mm-mm. How is the doctor? He's pretty shaken up. Well, I'd still like to see him as soon as possible. In fact, I'd like to see the whole team for a debrief. Could you get them here within the hour? Sure, we can do that. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, and Frank. I owe you an apology. I underestimated you. You're a good cop. No hard feelings? Who's that? None at all. See you shortly. I think that went really well. We need to get out of here. What? What's wrong? Did you see the lightning tattoo? It's the same as the video on the break-in. Wait, you think he's working for Fit? Absolutely. Come on.
so? Colin is definitely involved. Then we go to the police. Yeah, no, I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Look, if the FBI has been compromised, then you can bet the police have been too. The fit's got people everywhere. We're gonna have to do this all ourselves. Are we safe here? It's a homeless shelter. They're not coming here. So, do we have a plan? As a matter of fact, we do. You see, uh, they're planning to trigger a destructive seismic wave in one direction, so we will generate a similar wave in the opposite direction. Oh, sort of like the noise-canceling earbuds that I used to drown out Frank. Yeah, something like that. Uh, the fact is that uh, the result will be there'll be no wave, or at least a significantly weaker one. Paul. Oh. You were amazing today. Yeah, right. No, I mean it. It was nice getting to hang with my big brother again. Oh. Oh, this. Meant to return it. Come on. Professor, before you lay out the plan, I think I can speak for all of us when I say, we need to know where your heart is. Tomorrow's not a drill. Our lives are on the line along with all of LA. Is your allegiance still with FIT or with us? It's a fair question. I, uh, I need to apologize to all of you. As you know, I'm a pompous, arrogant, old-fashioned academic. Uh, I haven't treated you with the respect that you deserve. Well, anyone deserves for that matter. Until today. From here on in, I will be honored to work alongside each and every one of you. So, shall we stop this thing? I'm in. 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 Well, I'm like totally in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm like totally into. <laughs> Yeah! At least without the notebook, they can't create a bigger quake. Yeah, but they still could collapse most of downtown. Even without Tessa's notebooks, Fitz has been able to assemble three harbor raids located on freighters about 12 miles offshore. And each one will fire a high-frequency pulse into the ionosphere, and when it bounces back to Earth, it'll trigger a vertical seismic event under Los Angeles. To stop this, the professor and I will drive to the Mountain Bluffs in my van. We'll set up a microwave dish to radio the beta freighter's control system. Now, once I've hacked into the beta array, I can send out a counter wave to cancel out the alpha. Unfortunately, the, the gamma freighter's too far away. Esther and Paul, you guys will break into West Side Command that sends signals to the freighters. Here. Put this virus into their system, and it will stop the gamma. Beta down, alpha down, gamma down. We win. No earthquake. <laughs> Uh, guys, I hate to be a spoiler here, but I'm not exactly the best in an earthquake. Hey, you'll be fine. I'll be with you. And where's this Fitz command post? And what about the guards? Yeah, well, I got a quick look at their schematics, and I think it's located somewhere in a, an industrial park, somewhere here on the west side. Once, uh, once they send signals to the freighters, I'll be able to triangulate its exact position. So we stage here and wait for your signal. Yeah, but what about the guards? We need an army to get past them. I have an army. The role players? Oh, no. Hey, Flatfoot. Me, Dragonovich, and Thingmaster defeated the Queen of Darkness and a quartered universe last week. This is child's play. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. She's on to something. We can overwhelm the guards with numbers. I mean, they're not going to shoot a bunch of superheroes, right? Yeah, the last thing Fit wants is attention from the police, right? Frank, how many burgers do you think you could wrangle up? Why? I have an idea. Save the universe? Save, Save the, the universe! universe. <laughs> In a few hours, 
20 of the world's most powerful leaders will meet to determine the future of our economies. The security here is so tight, not even the media is allowed inside. Try to the left a bit. Left. Whoa, 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 whoa. OK, hold it. Hold it right there. Yes. There we go. Hello, my lovelies. All right, Cyrus's people have linked to the freighters. Tell them it's a go. Game on. I understand. You will not fail. All right, I'm in. I just need to make a couple more calculations. But I can't send the signal not until they activate those other arrays. Professor, we have company. <sighs> You're going to have to get me two more minutes. Just, just two minutes. Can't let you do this, Professor. Who brings a taser to a gunfight? situation here in the alley. I'm going to need backup. Round one, fight! <laughs> Okay, keep working, keep working. Stay at your stations. Let's get some security at the door. Like I said, can't let you do this. If you're not FBI, who are you? No, I am. But there's just a few of us who want to be on the winning side when the dust settles. Now, I don't want to have to kill you, so please take your hands away from the keyboard. Don't catch Bang. me! Working on him. He's deaf. Move aside, genius. Where did everybody go? Don't even think about it. Hands. 
Take a seat. Just keep him busy. I'm almost there. What do you think I'm doing? Tesla power, baby. Professor! Are you okay? Please, just push, push the damn button! <laughs> So much for your alpha and your beta. Maybe you've forgotten. There's still an array that hasn't fired. Not for long. No, no, don't do that! No! Sometimes you have to do things the old-fashioned way. Now move away from the console, Miss Dawson. Okay. Are you okay? That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> hey. What about the burgers? You guys earned them. Let's go get those burgers. <laughs> A 3.2 Tembler rocked downtown Los Angeles today, temporarily halting the G20 summit. Caltech reported it could have been much worse.
the vertical shift fault could have brought the entire central district down. Stewart's last words were thank you. He didn't have a wife or kids, but he said that you were the closest family he ever had. This garden was like a home to him. He asked that his ashes be spread here. He was proud of you, you know? I know. I feel like that's why I owe it to him to continue his work and use it as he originally intended. So what the FBI say about Colin? The usual stonewalling. They can't comment on an ongoing investigation. What about you? I asked Paul to come stay with me while he is in rehab and looking for a new job. What type of job? Uh, I don't know. But I'm um, thinking about putting together a platoon of vets to take down mad scientists. Hmm. <laughs> you? Continue taking night classes to get my law degree? Staying in town. In town is good. You guys ready? Wait, did we ever find the notebook? Well, the formulas in there could literally change the balance of the power of the world, so if it doesn't have it, then who does? What, the notebook? Oh, I hid that. What? 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 So they couldn't connect it with you. Look, I think it's caused enough trouble. Maybe it needs to stay lost for a few more generations. I hit it with Vic, one of the vets. No one will ever find it. Believe me, the future of mankind is safe. 